called the twelve and began to send them out two by two and gave them power over the unclean spirit. He charged them to take nothing on their journey except a staff. No bread, no bag, no money in their belts, but to wear sandals and not put on two tunics. And he said to them, when you enter a house, stay there until you depart from there. And if any place will not receive you, and they will not listen to you, when you leave, shake off the dust that is on your feet as a testimony against them. And they went out and proclaimed that people should repent. And they cast out many demons and anointed with oil many who were sick and healed them. King Herod heard of this because Jesus' name had become known. Some said, he is John the Baptist raised from the dead. That is why these miraculous powers are at work in him. But others said, he is Elijah. And others said, he is a prophet, like one of the prophets of old. But when King Herod heard of it, he said, John, whom I beheaded, has been raised. For it was Herod who sent and seized John and bound him in prison for the sake of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife, because he had married her. For John had been saying to Herod, it is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. And Herodias held a grudge against him and wanted to put him to death, but she could not, because Herod feared John, knowing that he was a righteous and holy man, and he kept him safe. When Herod heard him, he was greatly perplexed, and yet he heard it gladly. But an opportunity arose when, on his birthday, Herod gave a banquet for his nobles, military commanders, and the leading men of Galilee. For when the daughter of Herodias came in and danced, Herod and his guests were well pleased. And the king said to the girl, Ask me for whatever you wish, I will give it to you. And he bowed to her, Whatever you ask of me, I will give you up to half my kingdom. The girl went to her mother and asked, For what should I ask? And her mother said, The head of John the Baptist. <laughs> so she immediately and with haste went to the king and asked, saying, I want you to give to me at once the head of John the Baptist on a platter. And the king was extremely sorry. But for his oaths and his guests, he did not want to break his word to her. So immediately, he sent an executioner to bring back John's head. And he went to the prison and beheaded him and brought back his head on a platter and gave it to the girl. <coughs> and the girl gave it to her mother. When his disciples heard of this, they came and took his body and laid it in a tomb. The book of Mark, chapter 6, verses 7 through 29. 